Good to see you, man. You too. Good to see you, man. See you guys. Good Thank you. First day at camp, still the same excitement as when you were first here as a freshman? <clears throat> yeah, I think there's a little less. Uh, I was saying to someone, someone was asking me, you nervous? I think the first day of football practice, I mean, I remember being – Fourth, fifth grade, like you still, you get those first day nerves. Everyone's out there. Um, so it's still, it's not the same exact feeling. I mean, you feel certainly more comfortable. You, uh, you kind of know what to expect, but there's nothing like, um, you know, the first day of training camp, getting your, your football win back, your football speed back. So I think just uh, building on that, but it's always, it's always fun to get back out here. Are you guys going to do, do you feel like there'll be a different scheme coming in with Raheem and Dugan in charge? Um, I don't think so. Um, you know, I think part of, you know, what makes um, our defensive staff special right now is that we've got camaraderie. camaraderie. We've got guys who've been here together for, you know, three, four years. Right. Um, and that goes a long way. Um, so I think just, um, you know, guys are familiar with what they know and just keep building off of that, keep getting more detailed and keep executing. We can joke about the old age, but I've been here a long time. Yeah. Six years, just why did you want to come back for another year? What was the decision like? Yeah. Um, yeah. At the end of the year, obviously, I mean, last year wasn't ideal for anyone. Um, you know, and I felt, you know, partially I still had a year of eligibility left because of COVID. And um, I lost a year when I got hurt. Um, and BC's like, BC's been so special to me, to my family, to, you know, my having my teammates. And I didn't want to leave time, you know, I didn't want to leave time on the table, right? So, like... I just felt like I, um, you know, I was healthy. Um, I still love the game. Um, so passionate about playing, passionate about being in the locker room. Um, and to me, that was like, you know, after you, you take a week, you take two weeks to kind of settle down after a tough season. But then you're like, I don't want to. I'm not ready to. You know, I wasn't ready to give it up. Um, there's nothing like, you know. And I, I talked to, I talked to coaches, you know, who I've had in the past, guys who have been mentors to me, and they're like, you know, play as long as you can. Um, because there's there's nothing like it. What would make this year a success in your eyes individually and as a team? Yeah, I just think I think win a lot of games. Um, you know, we want to contend for an ACC title. Um, that's always been the goal here since I've been here, and I think this is um, this is our best shot to do it. So anything that looks like that certainly um, we'll see is successful. What is it like having Paul Rhodes in your your, your room working? Yeah, with he's awesome, Coach Rhodes. He brings a ton of experience. Um, he brings a tremendous demeanor. Um, he's a great leader. He brings energy to the room, and just um, again, like I said, like we got, um, we've had a lot of the same staff here. But even just one new guy who's had so much experience as a head coach, as a defensive coordinator, um, you know, just little coaching points, little details that um, you know in meetings that you know can kind of uh, you know freshen things up a little bit. And he's been tremendous. Um, you know, he's been tremendous through all position groups. You mentioned wanting to compete for an ACC title. Preseason poll had you guys 13th out of 14. Um, and that's going to go away, obviously, but as a competitor, is that always going to kind of stick in the back of your head? Yeah, I mean, I think a little bit. I mean, honestly, um, I don't know. I, I think we, we talk about, you know, Coach Happy talks about, like, that stuff, don't get too caught up in that stuff. That stuff is irrelevant, in all honesty. You know what I'm saying? I mean, when, when they put the ball down, whistle blows in between the white lines, like, nobody's going to remember who's ranked what, you know, like preseason. So... I think it's, um, yeah, I think as a competitor, you, you know, you use that as a little bit of a chip on your shoulder. But at the end of the day, like, we're here, we would have the same, whether we were ranked first or 14th, we got the same goal. We're going to practice as hard as we can, um, and we're going to go out and still, we're going to try to win the ACC title. Um, the main focus of fans, media, everybody, it's going to be the offensive line. Yeah. What have you seen from them? Is it kind of a different feel already? Yeah, I think, I mean, um, you know, speaking to the, the leadership in that room, the new additions to that room, the tremendous, you know, leadership from Christian Mahogany, Kyle Hergel, new addition, he's been awesome. Uh, you know, Logan coming from Virginia has been awesome. And I think those guys, again, like you're talking about chip on your shoulder, like those guys had, a, I think, a tremendous motivation this offseason. Um, you can see it. You can see it. They came into work every day. Um, they're pushing each other. Um, they pushed a team, and even in spring ball, you can start to see those guys come together. Um, the camaraderie, how you know how they are in the locker room, the meetings, and I think a lot of it um, is a is, is a confidence thing, and they're they're uh, they're ready to go. Will you be the guy calling the plays? Will you be the eyes in the huddle? Yeah, I think. I mean, um, I'm not trying to put you on the spot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, yeah. It, it comes from. It's going to come from the sideline. You know, yeah. it's going to come from. Um, you know, the coaches calling the plays, but on the field, I mean, again, like. I think, um, you know, Mike linebacker is a unique position. You know, yeah. you got to um, make calls, make checks, and that's not to take away anything else from, um, you know, every position room has stuff that they take care of that they're, um, you know, little details they're honed in on. Um, you know, the safeties make a lot of calls in the back end. The defense end, defense tackles, they recognize backfield sets and whatnot. So I think it's, 
Um, you're definitely vocal. That's definitely yeah. part of your job in the defense. But it's not. Um, you're not making sure everybody's. You know, you're not telling every single person their job. No. But I've seen Mike's like tap a guy. Yes. Google yeah. Yeah. I think you're trying to. You're trying to get. You're trying to get everything situated out there. Almost. Um, same thing, right? Like as a quarterback, right? Like you're. Um, you're setting guys up. You're. You're. You know, deciphering a lot of different things in the run and pass game. But um, it's you know. You know, the receivers still have their things, the DB still have their things, but it's still, yeah, it's a lot of communication. Good. Great. Thanks, guys. Yeah, you too.